Hey everyone and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. I am back here with another update on our kiln here. We are going to be starting a fire in this wood stove that we just got installed. If you didn't watch the last video, you should go back and watch the last update on our solar kiln here. We had to install a a wood fire in our solar kiln I know it's funny uh, because it's not working really good right now but we got it to like 80 degrees the other day with this thing and we're firing it up again today so come over here and check it out All right, so I'm here with Grandpa, and he's going to talk a little bit about how he thinks that this thing works. We have burned it a few times, so um, just first opinions on it here. We are getting it going. Okay, yeah, we burned this yesterday. We started up for the first time. It was 40, deg 40 degrees mm -hmm. in the green in the uh, kiln, mm -hmm. and after we run it for a while, it got up to 80, 80. 70, got up to. 80 got up to 80. yeah yeah i thought that uh, uh we we had a fan just pulling pulling air through this thing to begin with but that doesn't work good because it yeah. turns cold when it blows through oh. so we put a little uh squirrel cage fan on the inside blowing back into here so it forced the heat to, to come out. back out and it got really warm now we're discussing well, about putting a ceiling fan in there to push that heat down because it gets really hot up top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push it down and then smaller fans to push it through the wood. All right, and, and uh, it's, it is a little bit moist in there, you can tell. Oh, um, yeah. No, it, it got condensation on it. Yeah. Uh, it made a, a big difference. I mean, really big difference. Um, need one more stand of pipe on that to get it up a little bit higher, but uh, I, it's going to work. That's awesome. It's, it's cool looking too. Oh yeah, no, it's. Uh, I got the door. I'm building the door right now, at the shop, but I'll get it put on here. But we just stuff air in, and it forces the heat out. Does this get and Does this get hot at all? Not really. Um, it does initially until you start blowing air through there. Yeah, and it, yeah. But it's better. It's, we were sucking air through the front, so you were sucking cold air in there, and. Uh, it got pretty hot but it wasn't pushing we weren't feeling the heat in there okay but as soon as we started forcing the air in from from that side now that'll recirculate that air in there and you won't be blowing cold sucking cold air in all the time so if everything's working good then it doesn't get hot at all not I me mean, it's warm yeah but no i think uh, i think we're on to something yeah do you think it will be enough heat, heat to heat the office Oh, it'll heat the office. You, you could, think? We had this thing in here at uh, 70, 70 yesterday. Yeah. And you see your breath in the office. Yeah. So if we open that window. The, oh, yeah, because we have a window right yeah, there. Yeah. Open that window and it'll Let warm it. that right up too. Yeah. Only problem I see with that is you guys are going to be spending more time in the kiln than you are outside. Now, I was just thinking we wouldn't have to drag that... Uh, that that thing over to the RV to heat it up every single time we want to have lunch. We always drag the Oh no, you can come in over. there and be nice. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking. Now that we have lights in there and everything, it'd be awesome. Well, thanks for uh, taking a moment to. Oh yeah, no, we'll talk get the door put on here and just the finishing touches. Yeah, that's and, awesome. Uh, all we have to do is keep it firing it. Awesome. I hope. This is going in there. It's Oops. going now. Yeah. Maybe uh, maybe we should eat lunch in the <laughs> kiln today, Jude. If it gets warm in there. All right. Well, thank you, Grandpa. Okay.
All right, so we've been letting it uh, warm up in here for a little bit, and we're going to see what the thermostat says inside here. Excited to see. Oh, I already feel the warm coming out. Wow, it is really toasty in here. Uh, wow, I wish I could just work in here all day. Let me just see what this thing says. All right, it says it's over 70 degrees. Jude, can you get a look at that? It's only been going for a little bit, too. So as you can see here, we have a fan blowing and just a ton of hot air coming uh, out of that, off of that uh, burner right now. And it is just, I mean, you can see my hair blowing. That's all the warm air that's coming out of that. Um, very, very hot. Should probably shut the door. We're letting all the warm air out. We do have a generator going for the fan though. So now we have to, we still have to run a generator, but um, we, are, we also have a bunch of cook wood that's sitting in here drying right now as well. Uh, hickory chunks as well as help some larger pieces here. Uh, so those will be drying up in here uh, as well as the lumber. We can basically stick any of our wood products in here and have it dry. I, as you can see, all that condensation that was there too um, is completely gone from all the plastic. That didn't take very long. It took like half hour of this thing going to clear all that up. So it is just getting really dry in here and that's what we want. So it's working. We are very pleased with it. Now we have to get back to work. Unfortunately, have to leave this very warm little habitat in here to venture out into the cold winter but uh, alas, what can we do? Just go in there and take a nice break, drink some coffee. And the heat coming off of this is also nice, not too hot like he said, but yeah. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time.